Hello there, I'm Dr. Lee Zeitz, and today I'd like to talk about how to watch an educational video. <laughs> you know how to watch videos, sure, but you've been watching TV videos, and I'd like to give you some pointers so you can get more out of the educational videos that you're getting in class. These can be lectures or other instructional uh, videos. Before we get started, though, I'd like you to um, take some notes and go through this whole process. We're going to talk about taking notes and such. And so you should be able to access the notes either in a packet or online. And what I'd like you to do is, is take those, get those notes, and it looks a lot like what you see here. And it has the postings, uh, and then it also has the place where you can write notes. If you can't do that, then you can either use your computer, your phone, or a notebook, whatever it is that you have, so that you can take notes as we go through. This is the process of actually demonstrating and living what I'm going to be telling you and suggest that you do. All videos are not created equal. When you watch The Fast and the Furious, it's to be excited and enthralled and, and really have a great time. I, I know that's a terrible re representation of The Fast and the Furious, but I couldn't put up the, the regular billboard because of copyright reasons. <clears throat> when we watch Six Steps Towards Active Reading, <laughs> hopefully it's... Well, maybe it's not going to be exciting, but hopefully it's informative. It's something that's positive in that manner. So remember, when you're looking at that, it's going to be different than when you're looking at the Fast and the Furious. You need to be distraction-free. When we talk about turning off the technology, that means turn off any other kinds of videos or TVs. If you have a phone, put it away. Don't just put it on the table face down. Put it in your bag, because that way you won't be even thinking about it. Remove other kinds of distractions. You may have lights that are coming on. You can have a lot of other types of distractions that would be in the, in the room that would get in your way. You also want to ask people not to distract you because you're trying to do this and hopefully that they will accommodate you for that. Prepare to take your notes. And what that means is get the note taking uh, pages that can be useful for you. You want to be an active listener. It isn't just a matter of sitting and watching like you would with um, uh, The Fast and the Furious. It's a matter of being an active listener where you're going to listen, you're going to write notes, and you're going to make ideas, you're going to connect ideas. That's how we do this as far as getting ready to take those notes. You need to prepare to watch the video. This means you need to complete all of the reading you're supposed to do beforehand. You want to have that as a background, a basis. Number two. You want to review class discussions. If you've discussed this in class, think about what that is. You're building a foundation for what you're going to be watching. And number three, get comfortable. Get something to drink. You know, if, if you can, uh, maybe something to eat. But, but get comfortable and get ready to learn. So, you're watching the, the video and you missed something. It didn't make any sense. Now, in some cases, you can stop and you can go back and you can go f figure out what the problem is. If that's not what you can do, if you can't stop the video and go back, what you need to do is make a note quickly that you, you're missing something. It might just be some question marks that you put in there so you can get back to it later. After you're done, make sure that you review your notes immediately. Sit with some other students and then discuss the video. You want to review your notes. You want to, uh, you've got questions that you have, things that you didn't understand. You could sit there and discuss it. You're going to get a whole lot more uh, out of this. If you have a study buddy who you can discuss these things with, so it's more than just rote memory. It's a matter of actually making connections. Then if you can, watch it again. Once you have the basis and the foundation that you need, if you go back, you can go back and, and watch it again. Now, if, if you're watching these on a schedule, in other words, they show up every day or something like that, then what you need to do is check the schedule, make sure that you can find it. Um, if you have complete access to it, then you can simply go over and start it when you need to. While you're going through this, refer to your notes, refine your notes as you're doing it, and look for ways in which you can answer your questions. Then what you want to do is you want to apply what you did. You want to create examples of what you just learned. Maybe it has to do with writing a poem. Or maybe it has to do with solving a math problem. Or maybe it has to do with drawing a map. Whatever it might be, try to take what you just learned and apply it. So that once again, it's making connections rather than just rote memory. Most importantly, 
use your notes. You've gone through, you've watched it. You notice on these notes that we crossed out the question marks and put more notes in there that, that uh, clarified our questions. But make sure that you're going to be using this for questions when you have, have meetings and, and you discuss things. Also when you take the test. Now whether you can use the notes or not during tests, that has to do with who your teacher is. But take your notes. Here, they, here we go again. The eight steps. Be distraction free. Prepare to take your notes. Prepare for the video. Make, sure, make a note if you miss something. Review the notes immediately when you're done. Watch it again if you can. Create an example so you're applying it. And then use your notes for success. Well, there you have it. Here's some ideas as to how you can get the most out of an instructional video. And I, you, this is a way in which you can continue learning. Just keep learning. Thanks. Bye.